Welcome back guys and today we're going to be talking about the NAACP also known as the National Association for Advancement of Colored People. The NAACP was established in 1909 and is America's oldest and largest civil rights organization. This organization was formed because during the early 20th century there was still a lot of civil unrest and injustice for the African American communities. But this is the formation of this organization actually happened due to an after effect of the Springfield riot in Illinois. In this event, two African American males were being held in Springfield jail due to an alleged crime against the white community. Because of this, a white mob would go into African American Springfield communities and burn down more than 30 homes and they would lynch two African Americans. Now, some of NAACP founding members include some white progressives like Mary Wall Iverton, Harry Moskowitz, William Ingus Walling, Oswald Garrison Villar, and include some African Americans like W. Du Bois, Ida Wells Barnett, Archibald Grimrick, and Mary Church Terrell. Now, the NAACP had three goals. It was to champion equal rights, eliminate racial prejudice, and it was to advance the interests of colored citizens, which it could include voting rights, it could include legal justice, or education, employment opportunities, and then etc. Now, white lawyer named Morfield Story became the NAACP's first president, and the W.E. Du Bois, who was the only black person on the leadership team, served as director of publication and research and in 1910 the du bois would actually start the crisis which was a leading publication for the african-american writers and it still remains in print today now the NAACP will fight their battles either in the courtroom peaceful protests or lobbying for example in 1950 of the supreme court case of gwen versus united states the NAACP challenged the law that Oklahoma passed a line people whose grandfather had been eligible to vote in 1866 to register without passing a literacy test. This means that majority of the white people were allowed to vote without passing a literacy test versus us African Americans who just got our voting rights. We had to pass a literacy test before we can allow to vote. Another event was the NWCP would call the boycott for the birth of the nation and it was a movie that portrayed the KKK in a positive light. Now two years later, around 10,000 people would participate in the NWCP organized silent march to protest lynchings and other violence against African American people. This was the first one of the first mass demonstrations in America against racial violence. In under 10 years, the NAACP had almost 100,000 members. Now, NAACP having close to 100,000 members in under 10 years in back in the 19, uh, early 19th century was huge and it made NAACP a very important organization. NAACP played a vital role in the civil rights movement. In the Brown versus Board of Education, they was a part of the prosecution team that helped these segregated school, local schools. Also, they had help in the 1963 March on Washington, and they helped with the um, Mississippi Freedom Summer Initiative, which basically um, initialized and helped black people, black Mississippians to vote. And by this year, 2021, the NAACP has more than 2,200 branches and more than a half a million members worldwide. From applicable science to NAACP, we just want to say thank you for all your contributions and what you did in history.